When the simulation begins, you are a supervisor responsible for killing the well. Here's what's happened so far. 1. A kick occurred and the well was successfully shut in. 2. SIDPP and SICP have been read and recorded. The first step in the simulation is to crack open the choke. Make sure you open the choke before getting the pumps started. After you open the choke, your first task is to bring the pump to the slow pump rate and begin circulation of the kick. Your goal is to maintain casing pressure constant until, drill pipe pressure is equal to initial circulating pressure. To check what pump rate we need to bring the pump to, take a look at the clipboard where the driller has recorded, key kill sheet data. Here, we can see the desired pump rate, for kick circulation. You can also double check this and other key well parameters on the kill sheet. Bring the pump on in stages, increasing by 5 SPM each time. To increase the pump Roger speed, that. contact the driller. 5 strokes per minute, boss. Got it. Coming up 10 strokes per minute. When the pump speed increases, casing pressure will increase. Open the adjustable choke to keep casing pressure constant. When the pump is at its full desired speed and pressures have stabilized, click the ICP reached button on the clipboard to move on. Stabilized pressure means that pressure on both gauges has stopped moving up and down, and remains essentially the same with only small variations. Enter the ICP, pressure on the drill pipe gauge, to write it, on the clipboard.